everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali, this is baby Josh, and we are determined to motivate you to get your messy, disorganized space nice and tidy. We don't usually think about cleaning our mattresses, but we should. They can be filled with dust mites, which are microscopic insect-like pests that feed on flakes of skin. So if you want to know how to deep clean your mattress, then keep on watching. Step one, strip the bed. Some people only have sheets on their bed, others have a lot more than that. I have quite a few layers on top of my mattress, so the first thing I do is remove all of it and wash everything. Step two is vacuum the mattress. While everything is getting washed and dried in the machine, I vacuum the mattress. Step three, spot clean. Using an upholstery cleaner, I then spot clean any stains that there may be on the mattress. Do not get your mattress too wet during this step because too much moisture can lead to mold in your mattress. So make sure you use very little water and cleaning solution when doing this. I've linked the upholstery cleaner in the description box down below. I highly recommend getting a mattress cover to protect your mattress. I didn't get one until after I had kids, so my mattress has some stains and isn't in the best condition. Step four, cover the mattress with baking soda. Add a generous layer of baking soda all over your mattress. You can simply throw it on and spread it with your hands, or you can use a sieve. Let the baking soda sit on your mattress for at least an hour or even longer if you have the time. If it's warm enough, open up the windows and get some fresh air in to help air out the mattress. Baking soda will help freshen your mattress and remove any odors. Step five is to wipe your headboard and the frame. While you're waiting, you can wipe down the headboard and bed frame. I like to use a microfiber cloth and a solution of 50% white vinegar, 50% water, and a few drops of dish soap in a spray bottle to do this. Step six is to vacuum the mattress. Once you've allowed the baking soda to sit for a while, you can vacuum the mattress again. If you have an upholstery attachment, use it when vacuuming. Step seven, flip and rotate. If you have a mattress that can be flipped over, make sure you do this and rotate it 180 degrees. I have a pillow top mattress, so it can't be flipped over, but I do rotate it 180 degrees. This is to ensure that it wears evenly. It's recommended that you replace your mattress every seven to 10 years, but personally, I think it all depends on how well you take care of it and how often you rotate it. If you find you're not getting a good night's sleep, then it might be time to replace your mattress. Step eight, make the bed. Once your mattress is fully dried, you can make your bed using your clean linens. I love hotel beds, and it's one of the things I look most forward to when traveling. Before we had kids, my husband and I would book staycations at hotels five minutes away from our home, simply because I love the comfort of hotel beds so much. During one of those stays, I decided to look up how to make your bed feel like a hotel bed. I discovered that you can buy bedding from hotels, which can be pretty pricey. So I continued researching, I tried different sheets, um, bought the perfect mattress, learned what else I could do to make our bed feel more like a hotel bed. It took some trial and error, but I finally managed to recreate the perfect hotel bed. If you'd like to know how I did this, what are all the layers I've put on top of our bed, how do I make our bed, how do I keep our bedding so white, even with three little kids at home, then click on the link in the description box down below. This will bring you to my Patreon page where you'll be able to get access to a video where I share all of these details. Also, just wanted to let you know that I'm currently working on an online program called Clear the Clutter that will help you get organized step by step. If you're interested in learning how to organize your entire home, implement organization systems that actually work, learn how to meal plan, create a detailed home maintenance and cleaning schedule, then sign up on the waitlist for my Clear the Clutter program. The link is in the description box down below. Once the program launches, you will be notified and provided with more information. If you like the tips I shared in this video, follow me on Facebook and Instagram because that's where I share daily tips and tricks all about organization, saving time, and simplifying your life. Next week, I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy DIY project you can create for your baby or make for someone else as a very thoughtful gift. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to know when that video is posted. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with someone that you think would benefit from learning how to deep clean their mattress. And if you like this video, be sure to check out one of these ones. They're full of tips and tricks that will help you get more organized. As always, thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye!